10 Most Amazing Cities Found Underwater In spite of the fact that water bodies play a huge role in our day-to-day -day existence, we just know very little about our oceans or seas. While most of our knowledge is in shallower bodies, the deep waters remain a mystery. Did you know the rich histories the deep blue seas hold? Some hidden treasure, perhaps? What if we told you great cities lurk in the depths of the ocean? Those adventurous enough have been able to explore the unknown, and thanks to their discoveries, today we show you 10 of the most amazing cities found underwater. Get ready to marvel at history and get a better understanding of these ancient cities. Number 10. Alexandria The city of Alexandria was founded in 332 BC by Alexander the Great, after he, in a conquest to expand his vast empire, conquered Egypt. After Alexander's death, the Greek occupation of Alexandria lasted 300 years until the start of Cleopatra's reign. Queen Cleopatra's palace was a spectacular landmark and a great symbol of her power. She ruled Egypt and spent much time creating alliances with Roman leaders to keep them from occupying Egypt. Subsequently, she took her own life when she felt her efforts were about to fail, thinking the Roman invasion was imminent. 1400 years ago in Egypt, centuries after Cleopatra's demise, there was a massive earthquake and a colossal tsunami that hit the coast of the great city of Alexandria. It sank the island of Anterhodos, and not only did it take down Queen Cleopatra's palace, but also Alexandria's old lighthouse. In 1998, this ancient city, which was ruled by Cleopatra, was rediscovered. However, it was found out that the city was almost perfectly preserved underwater. In the midst of the treasures recovered from the ancient Alexandria was a sphinx made of granite, which is believed that its face represents that of Ptolemy XII father of famous Egyptian queen Cleopatra VII. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Titicaca's Pre-Incan Ruins In Bolivia, just five minutes away from the town of Tequina, on the shores of Lake Titicaca, archaeologists found the remains of an ancient civilization under the waters of the lake. A terrace for crops, a long road, and an 800-meter-long wall was also found under the waters of Lake Titicaca that date back 1,000 to 1,500 years ago, forming what are known as the Pre-Incan Ruins. The lake, which is the world's highest lake, has long drawn fascination with various legends around it, including one of an underwater city called Wanaka and another of Inca gold lost by the Spanish. According to Lorenzo Epis, an Italian scientist leading the Atahualpa 2000 scientific expedition, he claimed that the ruins had been attributed to the indigenous Tiwanaku or Tiwanaku people. Number 8. Yonaguni Monument Submerged ruins believed to be about 10,000 years old lie on the southern coast of Yonaguni, Japan, known as the Yonaguni Monument. This underwater rock structure that was discovered in the mid-1980s near Yonaguni Island in Japan is believed to be a piece of a missing puzzle. Some researchers believe the ziggurat-like formation is from an ancient city but others argue that it was naturally created. It's amazing how the Japanese government doesn't consider this pyramid structure of any cultural importance, despite it being nicknamed the Japanese Atlantis. A marine seismologist and a professor at the University of the Rukyus, Masaki Kimura believes that the structure was built around 2,000 to 3,000 years ago. It still baffles many people and debates are still ongoing whether the strange Yonaguni Monument, also called the Yonaguni Island Submarine Ruins, is the work of an ancient human-constructed wonder or of nature. Number 7. Heraklion, the ancient city of Thonis. The city was named after the ancient Greek hero Heracles and spanned a period of Egyptian history before and during Greek influence. The Egyptian name was Thonis and is also called Thonis Heraklion. According to Laura Gegel, a science writer, the lost city was first discovered off of the coast of Alexandria, Egypt in 2000 and has been the subject of regular excavations ever since. The first to discover the ancient city was archaeologist Godillo and his team, who saw a colossal face emerge from the watery shadows. 
the amazingly intact Egyptian monument, commissioned by the pharaoh Nictanbo I, helped the explorers identify the ancient city of Thanos Heraklion in 2000. The ancient city of Thanos was completely submerged 6.5 kilometers off Alexandria's coast. Among the underwater ruins were 64 ships, 700 cannons, a vast chest of gold coins, 16-foot statues, and, most importantly, the remains of a huge temple to the god Amun Gareb, and the tiny sarcophagi for the animals brought there as offerings. Scientists stress that the ancient city sank due to an earthquake or any other natural occurrence. Number 6. Baia Baia in Italy was an ancient city of Rome that was on the shore of the Gulf of Naples. But today, it's considered part of Bacali in the region of Campania. Baia was like Las Vegas during that time. In fact, during 100 BC and 500 AD, the extremely rich and elite were the ones who had built luxurious villas in this area, and Baia was one of these resorts that stood for centuries. At one time, this resort was a place of self-indulgence, and it was said to have been full of corruption. Some of the most powerful figures such as Cicero, Nero, and Caesar were known to have visited the city and a number of them built permanent vacation villas in Baia. They say all good things must come to an end and this was the case of Baia in the 8th century. By 1500, the ruins of the once prosperous city had been abandoned. After the remains of the city had been cleared, the water level gradually rose due to the same volcanic vents that were once a lure to the area, and much of the ancient ruins drowned under the bay's shallow waters. Despite the city no longer being a resort, its waters still hold wonders. Number 5. The Neolithic Village of Atlit Yam a little bit further from the coast of the village of Atlit in the Mediterranean Sea, near Haifa in Israel, lies the submerged ruins of the ancient Neolithic site of Atlit Yam along the Camel Coast. How Atlit Yam submerged is one question that has led to heated debates in the academic world. In the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Pisa, Maria Pareschi points out that a volcanic collapse of the eastern flank of Mount Etna Maria Pareschi points out that a volcanic collapse of the eastern flank of Mount Etna 8,500 years ago would likely have caused a 40-meter-high tsunami to engulf some Mediterranean coastal cities within hours. Nevertheless, other researchers have suggested that there's no concrete evidence to suggest a tsunami wiped out the settlement. One of the most significant discoveries of this ancient site is the presence of tuberculosis within the village. In 2008, the skeletons of a woman and child that were found revealed the earliest known cases of tuberculosis in the world. The size of the infant's bones and the extent of damage suggest the mother passed the disease to her baby shortly after delivery. Number 4. Port Royal Ahoy, matey! Founded in 1518, Port Royal became a city known for pirates' activities after infamous pirates like Calico Jack, Captain Morgan, and Bonnie, Mary Reed, and Blackbeard visited the town. Between the years 1655 and 1692, the city grew enormously and faster than any city in the New World, while it became the biggest trading post along the Caribbean Sea. Port Royal was once nicknamed as the wickedest city on Earth, a den of pirates, prostitutes, and slavers unlike any the world had ever known. When it was destroyed on June 7, 1692, most chalked it up to the divine wrath of God. But today, the submerged portion of Port Royal is an archaeological city to love and treasure. Should the Pirates of the Caribbean consider shooting a scene at Port Royal? Number 3. Dwarka The modern city of Dwarka, which in Sanskrit means gateway to heaven, is said to be one of the seven oldest cities in India, and scientific study suggests it may be among the most ancient discoveries of our time. Traditionally, modern Dwaraka is identified as the city of Sri Krishna in the Mahabharata. But then again, history, myths, and legends are always divided by a thin line from reality. There are many versions of how this legendary ancient city was founded by the Krishna. One story talks about Garuda, the Mount of Vishnu, bringing Krishna just off the Indian coast where the town of Dwarka eventually developed. 
while a longer version speaks of the celestial creator Vishwakarma telling Krishna that the project of building the legendary city could only be accomplished if Samudradeva, the lord of the sea, provided him with some land which was eventually granted. Dwarka eventually grew and became popular, housing thousands of people. Despite these allegations, experts claim that the region where the ancient city existed was submerged by melting ice caps in the end of the last ice age some 10,000 years ago. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across an online photo and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. The Lion City Known as the Lion City or Xicheng, this eerily beautiful sunken city with its ornate temples and intricately carved monuments perfectly preserved is hidden in the depth of Qingdao Lake, China. The site has been referred to as China's Atlantis, giving a peculiar time capsule of Imperial China. It lies 140 feet underwater in Zhejiang Province, 250 miles south of Shanghai, and is believed to have been founded over 1400 years ago. However, it was only until 2001 that it was rediscovered. Unlike the rest of the underwater cities, Lion City fell victim at the hands of mankind rather than a natural disaster. By 2017, the place had been opened up to tourists as a diving site and underwater museum of well-preserved architecture. Lion City features over 250 ornately carved archways, including stunning depictions of dragons, phoenixes, lions, and other cultural icons. Number 1. Pavlo Petri Leave alone in the Acropolis in Athens, the Sanctuary of Delphi, and the ancient theater of Epidaurus. How awesome would it be for you to visit one of the oldest cities in Greek underwater? For the gamers who have played Assassin's Creed, you may have come across this name. A few meters beneath the surface of the water, next to a sandy beach on Vatica Bay in southeastern Peloponnese, lie the archaeological remains of the oldest submerged city in the universe. Pavlo Petri is so old that it existed in the period that Iliad, a famed ancient Greek epic poem, was set in. In 2009, researchers revealed that the site extends for about 9 acres and evidence shows that it had been inhabited prior to 2800 BC. Scientists believe the city was sunk in around 1000 BC because of earthquakes that shifted the ground. Nevertheless, despite all this and after 5,000 years, the Pavlo Petri structure is still clearly visible and at least 15 buildings were found. 